Hello YouTube. This is Dr. Ronald W. Satz, founder and chair of the International Society of Unified Science and president of TransPower Corporation, a commercial and custom software manufacturing and certified systems engineering company. I work as a theoretical physicist and as a systems and mechanical engineer. Today, as usual with my screencast, we'll be discussing the reciprocal system and how it compares with conventional theory, theories of physics. Two topics today massless electrons have actually been discovered and second one is it a black hole or a white dwarf core in the center of galaxies so let's go to the first topic this one is from Princeton University this is uh, kind of interesting it says here after 85 years search massless particle with the promise for next generation electronics discovered so it says here, an international team led by Princeton University scientists has discovered an elusive massless particle theorized 85 years ago. This particle could give rise to faster and more efficient electronics because of its unusual ability to behave as matter and antimatter inside a crystal, according to the new research. Well, what they actually discovered was the massless chargeless electron unbeknownst to these guys. Let's just see uh, what else I can point here. So, so the researchers also found that what they're calling the whale fermions can be used to create massless electrons that move very quickly with no backscattering, whereas electrons are lost when they collide with an instruction. So this is important because, uh, let's just go back, as I've said, in the reciprocal system, massless electrons and massless positrons have been a feature of the reciprocal system since 1959. In fact, um, all charged particles actually have a, a, a neutral substrate, okay, electrons, protons, etc. So this is not really a surprise, but it's, it's very nice that we now have proof of the massless chargeless electron. So, and I go into more detail on this in Microcosmos database and in my work, Existence and Interactions, a computational treatise of the reciprocal system, the true theory of everything. It's a software ebook. Now, let's go on to the second topic today black hole or a white dwarf core. So, it says here. Radio astronomers are watching a previously dormant black hole wake up in a dramatic display as material falls onto it the first time the first time for perhaps millions of years. Well that's their interpretation, of course. Uh, let's see what else they say here. The new study which is being presented at the National Astronomy Meeting in Le Landudno in Wales so as for the first time convincing evidence of the onset, the switching on of this active phase in a black hole at the center of the galaxy, NGC 660, which is 42 million light years away in the constellation of Pisces. So this is here, in 2012, astronomers noticed that NGC 660 had suddenly become hundreds of times brighter over just a few months. Normal galaxies do not change their brightness very quickly as they are very large systems made of many relatively small individual components in the form of stars, gas, and dust. Well, and of course they say down here, material, gas, dust, and stars near a black hole can sit in a stable orbits, can sit in stable orbits around the central mass of objects for a long time, but eventually uh, they lose energy, spiral in, and fall into the black hole. Well, that's just nonsense. <laughs> They're confused. So, in the reciprocal system, of course, black holes are purely fictional. Many galaxies have white dwarf cores. A portion of these cores may undergo nova explosions as the material expands back to more typical densities. Hence, they become brighter and larger. Hence, they can, quote, come back to life. Conventional theory, on the other hand, says that nothing can escape from a black hole. But on the other hand, they are a source of vast amounts of energy and jets and everything else coming out. They say that black holes power quasars. It's just uh, con conventional theory is really nonsense. Okay. 
Well, that wraps it up for today. As usual, the simplest possible treatment of the reciprocal system is my work, The Unmysterious Universe, has all the concepts, many diagrams, and not very much in the way of mathematics. So maybe it's, it's best for newbies. Now, if you do want all the mathematics, and you're a professional scientist or engineer, you would want to get my software ebook, it's my magnum opus, Existence and Interactions, a Computational Treatise of the Reciprocal System, the True Theory of Everything. 711 pages in the PDF and 711 slides in the PowerPoint file. It covers metaphysics, physics, and econophysics. It covers both the microcosmos and the macrocosmos. Very, very comprehensive. It'll keep you busy for months. Now, once you finish that, you can graduate to the two database modules, the Reciprocal System Microcosmos Database, which covers the properties of photons, subatoms, atoms, compounds, and alloys, and the Reciprocal System Macrocosmos Database, which covers the properties of the universe as a whole, galaxy clusters, galaxies, star clusters, stars, planets, moons, minor bodies like asteroids and comets, nebulae, and voids. So these two modules together verify the reciprocal system of theory. Thousands and thousands of calculations have gone into this project. And you can use these two database modules in your work as a scientist or engineer. Okay, so study the reciprocal system and prove it for yourself. Thanks for your attention.